Ryan Kelly is a former candidate for governor of Michigan. He lost in 2022, and he's just been sentenced. Not for losing, but for being a part of all that going on over there. January 6th, capitals, uh, the Capitol riot there, an attack on our Capitol. So he was arrested during this during his Michigan gubernatorial primary last year. He pleaded guilty in July to a misdemeanor count of entering and remaining on restricted grounds. And he admitted he rushed past US Capitol police officers and used his hands to support another rioter who was pulling a metal bike rack onto the scaffolding. Prosecutors also said that he ripped up a tarp on the inauguration stage. It's probably the smallest part about his charges, but still. Uh, here's an image of him where he was on that scaffolding that circles around his. I, I made a vow to not maybe call as many names for people like this, but still, that's him on the scaffolding having fun on January 6th. Kelly said that the former President Donald Trump was not to blame for what he did after he was done getting sentenced, but that he came to Washington in the first place because Donald Trump had some receipts about, about uh, the election, the stolen election. He was there to check them out, then decided to run up on the Capitol. It wasn't Donald Trump, it was just him being there. And when there was no receipts, I guess he got upset at Trump and said, let me go run and take it out on the Capitol. Still, uh, there's one other thing. Kelly was sentenced by US District Judge Christopher Cooper, who said he had some serious concerns that Kelly was truly remorseful because he cited fundraising appeals that Kelly had made two years after the riot, suggesting that January 6th was a false flag event. A false flag event that I guess he was a part of that false flag group of people. Maybe he's a Democrat who's been weaponized by the government to be a part of January 6th because it wasn't real, except he was there and now he's going to jail over it. And he also said, yeah, I did it and it wasn't Donald Trump's fault. Uh, are we finding out that there's no principles involved in any of these folks? It's all about opportunity. There's a little bit more uh, reason you guys might be able to believe that one, Ryan Kelly was all about opportunity It's because he was talking to, I believe, Michigan Public Radio back when he was running. And this is the answer he had about uh, the election. Do you believe that President Joe Biden won the 2020 election? And will you accept the results of the primary next month, win or lose? Joe Biden didn't receive 81 million votes. He didn't get more votes than Barack Obama did. We look at 2,000 mules. Uh, we look at you know the cardboard boxes up at the TCF center, the pipe burst, shutting everything down. We see now all of these different components of the 2020 election that are, at least you got to say they're suspicious. I, I do think I have to say here that that the alleged facts of 2000 mules have been looked at by a lot of people and been widely debunked, as have some of the other things that you mentioned there. But in short, you do not believe that President Biden won the election. Will you accept the results of the primary next month when you're running? We say, oh, it was widely debunked. You know, everything was widely debunked by who? By the media? It was debunked by the by the mainstream media coming out saying it was baseless claims, baseless claims, baseless claims. They want to force feed that down everybody's throats. That's a bunch of nonsense right there. You know, the, the real true evidence has not been looked at. True evidence has been looked at, but he's definitely not talking about that real true evidence because he's talking about 2,000 mules, Adrian, 2,000 mules. Uh, by the way, just side note, since we started talking about Jim Jordan at the top of this show, Jim Jordan is another person who still won't say that that election was legitimate. Weird how that works. There's a Ryan Kelly who's going to be facing 60 days in prison over this and a $5,000 fine, I believe. But uh, one Jim Jordan is trying to be Speaker of the House with the same views. Jesus. What you got, Adrian? What you really, got? It really just, it just, it's laughable. It's wild to me that these people want to deny reality, but it's really almost consistent too, because they are the ones constantly gaslighting us. It's like these people are happy to lie to our faces, despite when we know what we see. And, and, and so this is really just par for the course, but it is so incredibly laughable and disgusting at the same time. And I'm dying to know whether it's always been this way in terms of politics, or it's <laughs> now just more so because maybe I'm an adult and paying attention, or now everybody has a cell phone, so they're journalists. I don't know, but it just, it makes you want to just, just remove yourself from this, <laughs> this planet. Like I just want to go somewhere else. These people are ridiculous. Just the reason Space Force is trying to get us to Mars, wherever the hell is they're trying I'll to go. go. First, <laughs> first, first ride. Send me up. First I'd like all. to give the references. Since we're on TDR, John, I think was, I don't know if he's still on that stance, but he was big on, on taking some of the first few rockets. Uh, me being who I am, I, I'm, I, I'm not on those rockets. But m maybe the second generation. You know, you don't want to get the new version of the new car that comes out because there's going to be issues. That's true. You want to get true. the second generation because they figured out all the problems. But bro, at this point, I might just say, you know what? 
It's for me, because this ain't for me. So whatever <laughs> that is, I don't know what it is, but it's for me. <laughs> it's probably less dangerous than what we're dealing with here. Um, by the way, Ryan uh, Kelly here again, the man who's having to go to jail for his support of Donald Trump and trying to run for governor of Michigan. Uh, he also had a lieutenant governor in mind to be a part of his, uh, his, uh, I guess, his administration there. And there was a question from that same radio interview they had to ask him about. Some pictures that were taken with some of the more unsavory figures within our society, one being Proud Boys. Uh, let's listen to that answer. You have announced that Jamie Swafford would be your lieutenant governor if you're elected. Swafford held the position of ethnic vice chair in the Michigan Republican Party. Swafford has said she attended a Trump rally in Washington on January 6th last year. She's also been photographed posing uh, with members of the extremist group, the Proud Boys. Uh, how does that mesh with your plans to lead the entire state, including Michiganders who see those actions as uh, an attack on our democracy? First of all, we are not a democracy. We're a republic. And so it is absolutely not a, an attack on our republic. It is a protected First Amendment activity to be able to get a picture with someone. And, you know, calling uh, specific groups extremists, you know, I've seen uh, pictures of Whitmer with BLM members. And, you know, that's an extremist group, if you ask me. I mean, they burned down cities. To answer your question, how this is going to affect our ability to lead and represent people, because we have a republic and we understand that. And we're going to uphold the constitutionally protected, God given rights of the citizens of America and of Michigan. Didn't work out for Ryan uh, Kelly. So enjoy your time. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.